When I was a little kid, the Amstel Gold Race almost passed my house at the time. It made such an impression with the helicopters coming closer and closer, and you knew that the rider, the first cars and motorbikes were passing, and you knew that the riders were coming. So this, 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 it was a build-up, and then suddenly the riders were passing, and it was such a magical feeling, I remember, um, and it made a big impression. At the time, I didn't know that I wanted to become a cyclist in the future, or I, I didn't know how my life, my life would go. But I think that's this little seed that got planted in my head, like, wow, this is cool, you know? Um, and it's eventually those little seeds that, that, that lead to where I'm now. Uh, so it's, it's amazing, yeah. My family wasn't really into uh, cycling. I used to go mountain biking on the, on the hills near where I lived, and I, li I really liked it. So when I was 15, I thought I might like a race bike as well. So I went to, I went to the club. Uh, they borrowed me a, a bike from like 15 years ago that still had the shifting on the, on the, on the frame, <laughs> the down tube. And, um, yeah, I started with that and I liked it. And I started racing bikes, got dropped every race, <laughs> got better. And then, yeah, it's, then I suddenly started to win races and then uh, it got really quickly from there. Let's go, let's go. Hey, three. Yeah. What? Yeah. I never had the intention of becoming a pro bike rider whose whole life is about riding bikes, you know? It's a gradual process, of course. So when I was about the year of 18, when I went to university and I wanted to start uh, study medicine, then it was also the period that I started to dream a little bit about maybe having a professional career as a cyclist. Come on, come on. I just happened that suddenly I went to an international race with the Dutch national team. I got invited for the first time. I did my first time trial ever on a borrowed bike from somebody and I won it. So apparently I had a sort of a talent and then it started to become a serious thing to make it my life. The first two years being semi-professional, uh, yeah. You were already happy with getting a free bike and stuff like that. Um, but then I went professional at Arga Shimano and I immediately had no problem of actually following the peloton, even getting results already in my first year. Um, actually, my first race was Ruta del Sol in, in Spain and I got sixth in the general classification. So between all big names like Schleck and, and Menchov and uh, guys like them, uh, who I only knew from TV. <laughs> so it was kind of a quick process of becoming a professional rider. And here's Dumoulin still, seven seconds it says, it's a narrow margin indeed. This is echt historisch. Onwaarschijnlijke etappe zegen voor Tom Dumoulin. Dat heeft hij gaat het dus echt doen. Dumoulin has done it! King of the mountain, king of the hills, king of the time trial, and I think king in waiting of this Giro d'Italia. Deze man, deze man heeft extraordinaire gaven. Kijk ja. goed naar. He's a great time trialist. He's proving he's a great rider as well. Oh, chapeau, Tom Dumoulin. Yeah, so uh, for many years my career was going upwards, only up, up, up. Every year a little bit better. And I worked really hard, but it's all worth it. If you feel that, that your body is getting better, that you're getting better results, it's all worth it. And you don't think about all the hard work you're putting in. Um, but then I had a few years that it drains you also. And I just over asked for my body and, and, and everything, yeah. I decided to to continue my career. But as soon as I got back into the rhythm of racing and training every day, I found out that I, I was still tired, I was still empty. I didn't have the physical strength or the mental strength anymore to only pursue the biggest in cycling. Um, so I just decided to quit in summer 22. been a 
very good decision. Um, I'm happy and I enjoy the bike again, uh, which I didn't enjoy for, for the last couple of years during my career anymore. I really enjoy going out with my friends and just doing a social ride or uh, getting the trails here around my hometown, going into the forest and yeah, going on the mountain bike, going down, it, it's, it's beautiful, yeah. So I, I still enjoy it and, and that's, that's what came back and that's what I, what I cherish and what I love, yeah. So we're almost a year after that I quit professional cycling and at first for a couple of months I almost didn't ride my bike at all. <laughs> I really wanted to stay, take a step away from the bike in general. But the longer I stayed away from it, the harder it pulls me back. <laughs> I, I just love it. Um, so they named this bike park in Sittat Gile and they na named it after me. Two weeks ago I was at, a, at the juniors race at the Grand Prix Tom du Moulin and it was amazing. And I, I'm still learning what I really want to do, but what I love to do is inspiring people and to inspire kids and youth to go out and ride their bikes. I have a really special relationship with Giant uh, because during the best years of my career, Giant has been supporting the team that I was riding and I was always riding on a Giant. It goes without saying that uh, me being an ambassador now for Giant is, is the natural way it should be. Tom Dumoulin still has a future on the bike. <laughs>